Hey, what up, guys? Sorry about the uh, the delay and not having a video for a while. Um, shot all of this and then accidentally a portion of this video recorded as a video instead of a time lapse. So I was sitting on like 40 minutes of video that I didn't know how to compress, but eventually got it. So we're back at the, uh, the flat deck 550SX and uh, we're just grinding down the foam and then putting down some, uh, some Bondo. So, um, yeah, th thanks for watching. Enjoy the video and uh, we'll wrap at you later. Alrighty guys, so with that, um, as you've seen, we've bondoed um, up the foam and uh, sanded it down a couple times. So add some bondo, sand it down, add some bondo, sand it down. Um, so with everything, um, it's not perfect, but it's looking pretty flat, pretty good. Um, and I don't need this to be, you know, perfectly um, perfect at the end of the day. Um, so we're gonna glass over this. The reason I put down Bondo was to prevent um, the epoxy when I wet out the glass from just going straight into the foam. Um, so just trying to put on some type of barrier to prevent it just from soaking in. Um, so with it, we should be able to um, start laying down some glass and get this sealed up and then start getting some turf on here. Um, so just another step along the process and uh, we'll just keep chugging along. All right, what up guys? Um, been a lot of time lapses, so I'll catch you guys up. Um, so we are sanded, bondoed. Um, we're now all masked up, ready to lay some glass. So we're gonna glass in the side rails um, and the slope. And then we're also gonna glass in up here. There's two little holes on each side where the previous pads filled in. So we're gonna glass that up um, and glass the sides. So, little trick with glass if you um, tape the sides if you don't have just the random twill but you have you know a 45 degree um, mesh you want or a 90 degree sorry um, if you lay down some masking tape it won't just like split and twist on you um, as you go to set it up so just keeps all your pieces uniform so got um, two pieces per side and then two pieces for each of the little hold sections. We've got a bunch of mixing cups. Um, in my experience, you get like one shot per, per mixing cup uh, when it comes to using them in the same day. Um, you can peel them out, you can throw, you know, acetone in them or whatnot. We got a total boat system. Um, so two to one, clear, non-blushing, you know, that's the label. Um, so we're gonna mix this up. Um, I have a mixer attachment that I just bent for the front of my drill um, rather than having to use a, a stick or something similar. But um, yeah, we're going to throw you up on a tripod, probably up on the toolbox um, facing this way, and we will get to lay some glass.
Alrighty guys, here is the semi-final product when it comes to the fiberglass. So glassed in those two holes, glassed in the side rails. So next step, just gonna come in here with a sander and clear out this drip rail. I started to get it over here with just a safety razor. Um, so I'm gonna clear that out, um, knock off the sides, just get a nice flat lip and then we're gonna throw on some contact cement and lay down our um, our mat, our hydro turf. Um, we're back at it out in the garage, working on the flat deck jet ski. Um, so last night I went and did a little bit of work and uh, chopped up some of this mat and we laid down that initial center patch. So um, today we're gonna be working on the sides what used to be the rails and um yeah going to probably do one piece up here and then bent down the side and then do another piece up the side so we're gonna get to it and uh, probably a bunch of time lapse for this one um since it's just a bunch of kind of busy work measuring and cutting and gluing it up so we'll get to it Alrighty, so this is what we have right now. So as you can tell, there's a lot of excess just hanging over. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to cut this contour perfect and then also be able to lay it down with the contact cement properly and just get everything to line up. So I figured, hey, I'll put excess on and then I'll just trim it to size. So um, both sides are laid down pretty decent. And now we're just going to um, you know, wait for them to kind of set up a bit and then um, cut them down, cut them down to size and it should, uh, should trim out pretty decent. <laughs> 